Hi, warm greetings from the General Secretariat of the Catholic Biblical Federation. As the part of the preparations for the 10th Plenary Assembly, we present the CBF from the inside. In the first video, we have seen the history, the mission and the activities of the Catholic Biblical Federation. And in this second video, we will look at the internal structure of the Federation. We we'll have a close look at its administration. As in the previous issue, we will now also make the use of a chart. This is the structure of the Catholic Biblical Federation. The supreme governing body of the Federation is the Plenary Assembly, held every six years with the participation of the delegates of all members of the Federation, of the full members and associate members. Uh, during the Plenary Assembly, the Executive Committee is uh, elected and is composed by one representative of full members from each region. So it means seven delegates of full members, then three representatives of all associate members and four ex officio members President of the Federation, Chairman of the Administrative Board, the Treasurer and the Delegate of Vatican. The Executive Committee elects and appoints the Administrative Board, mandated to deal with administrative matters, mostly legislative and financial uh, issues. Uh, Executive Committee uh, also uh, elects and proposes uh, for the appointment by, uh, by Vatican uh, the candidate for the president of the Federation. And the mandate of the president uh, is, of six, is for six years and is independent from the plenary assembly. Uh, executive committee also uh, on proposal from the Administrative Board, appoints uh, the General Secretary, called also Executive, Di Executive Director. His contract is for six years renewable. Another very important aspect uh, is the coordination about the members of the Federation in the regions and uh, sub-regions. Let's recall from our previous issue that the members of the Catholic Biblical Federation are grouped in uh, seven regions. We have the regions of Latin America, Caribbean, uh, North America, Oceania, Asia, Africa, Middle East and Europe. The biggest regions it is Asia and Europe, are subdivided in sub-regions. According to the Constitution, in Article 59, we read the regions and sub-regions create and maintain their own structures, guidelines and statutes to network with the National Regional Bishops' Conferences in developing common action plans for biblical pastoral activities and to assume responsibility for their own finances under the supervision and control of the Federation Treasurer. Also, uh, since, the, since the change in two, of the Constitution in 2015, uh, is established that the coordination of the region and the sub-region is entrusted to a regional, respectively to a sub-regional committee, composed of full member delegates and associate member delegates. This is the main change that was introduced in, in the year 2015 when the accent was put on the regional committee, not on the coordinator of the, of the region. And obviously, uh, to be member or, of the regional subcommittee uh, committee uh, is required to, be, to have the talent of corresponsibility capacity of work with the spirit of synodality and also the creativity uh, because from the activity of the regional committee and from the regional coordinator depends the activity of the federation in that regions. Uh, 
federation is present in the region through their members and is active in the region uh, through the activity of the members. So uh, the regional committees are composed depending from the structure of the region, for example in Latin America and Caribbean and Southeast Asia, the sub-regions or regions are subdivided in zones and each zone has a zonal coordinator. And these zonal coordinators, they compose, they are also the members, they form, conform the regional uh, committee. In other regions like Europe, uh, Africa, the members of the of the regions of the regional committees are elected by by the members or as is the case of, of Africa by the SECAM that is uh, based on the agreement between the SECAM and the Catholic Biblical uh, Federation. Uh, and in, in Article 61 of our Constitution, we read that the regional or sub-regional committee proposes a regional or sub-regional coordinator whose name is submitted to the Executive Committee for appointment after consultation of the General Secretary. Regional coordinators may be identical with the persons mandated by the competent Federation of Bishops Conferences for the coordination of biblical pastoral work in the uh, corresponding ecclesiastical region. This last sentence uh, refers to the case of Africa, where the director of the BICAM, Biblical Center from Africa, Madagascar, is at the ex officio the coordinator of the CBF in the, in the region. Uh, obviously, the person elected and appointed for the, for the coordinator of the, of the region should have experience of activity in the, in the federation. And also uh, is required that he should uh, have the institutional support of the institution. So it is stipulated in the constitution in Article 60 this person should be delegate of member institution of the Federation because the Federation has no offices in the regions. So we rely on the member institutions who are using the logistic support of the member institution to which, uh, from which the, the coordinator uh, proceeds. Also, the person who will be the coordinator should have this uh, approach of dialogue experience of team working and this capacity of team working with the spirit of synodality and also uh, corresponsibility. Since the change in the CBF constitution in 2015, a new coordinating body has been created. It is the coordinators uh, conference. Uh, according to the Article 65 of our Constitution, the Coordinators' Conference is a management-level body that promotes inter-regional sharing as coordination of biblical pastoral work and provides a forum for the discussion of issues vital to the life and development of the Federation as well for the elaboration of position papers concerning these questions. And in Article 68, the meetings and consultations of the Coordinators' Conference, which shall take place at least once every three years, may be facilitated by the use of all means of the modern uh, communications. Uh, and finally, uh, is the section of the uh, finances. Uh, that making it possible for all this whole structure to, uh, to function. In the previous presentation, we said that the Federation's finances are made up of the members' contributions, the membership fees paid by the mem member institutions of the CBF, but these uh, contributions cover only 20% of the budgets, uh, of the feder annual budget of the Federation. So we complete this budget with the support or financial support of Catholic agencies like 
Kirchheinot, Miss Joachim, Miss Jominchen, uh, Bishop's Conference from the United States, some di uh, dioceses, diocese of Munich, diocese of Augsburg uh, from, uh, from Germany. And recently we have created also in the United States uh, the Friends of the Catholic Biblical Federation for our own fundraising. So the section of the finances is under responsibility of uh, administrative board in coordination with the executive committee and the ordinary administrator of uh, the finances and goods of the federation is the general secretary. Uh, also, recently, as, as we said, we we can receive some support from the first, uh, from the friends of the Catholic Biblical Bib Federation, if, even if this institution is at its beginning and their support is not uh, significant at the, at the moment, but we are working uh, in the implementation of making more known the, the friends of the C uh, CBF to raise more money for the for the federation. This is the structure of uh, our federation. The last uh, information is that the central office is still, so our legal uh, C of the federation is still in San Otelli in Germany, but we are already uh, finishing the process of transferring the office uh, to, to Rome under the Vatican legislation. It takes a long time, or the third year, but we were confident that very soon we will probably finish this process and we will open our central office and our legal presence in, in Rome under the, the Vatican legislation. So this is the, the structure, as you see, is very uh, democratic, synodal structure with many lay people uh, involved, we are working together, lay person, religious person, uh, bishops, priests, <coughs> working all together on different levels of the administration of the Federation. The administration is reduced to, to minimum to save costs and to not uh, underline too much the, the administrative issue. The important accent for us is the, the biblical activity in the region and this structure is created in order to help us to develop this, uh, this activity. This is how the internal structure of the Catholic Biblical Federation is presented. I hope this presentation will help you to have a clear idea about the structure of the Federation and also more criteria when it comes to electing the new administrative positions, new officials of the Federation, both the zona or regional coordinators elected outside of the plenary assembly before and members of the executive committee elected by the delegates of the member institutions gathered during the plenary assembly. Thank you very much.